Geek Daniel here. We're going to install a T into this red line. This is a three quarter inch PEX and we need a, a half inch PEX line running down to connect up to our uh, washing machine. <clears throat> we have the T here, three quarter, three quarter, one half. There may be a little water left in this line, but the water is uh, shut off on the hot water line. So we should be able to cut into this without a lot of water coming out. We're using a regular pipe cutter that we would use on, on copper pipe. gives us a relatively smooth cut on the pecs and doesn't uh, crush the pipe too bad. But that is the main concern is crushing the pipe on the while we cut it. There's a lot more water in the line than I was expecting. Take our three quarter inch crimp ring, slide it onto the pipe. We need to check to make sure that uh, we have a a nice clean uh, cut on here after I get some of the water out. Slide it in. Get a position in the orientation that we need. Slide the crimp band over it. it needs to be a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch away from the, uh, the end of the pipe. Put our crimper on. Get it lined up. Get it hand tight so that it stays in position. Get our vice grips.
our go no go cage. Go side turns smoothly all the way around, and the no side doesn't go on, so we haven't over crimped it. Since there's a little water coming out of this one still, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the half inch first. <clears throat> um, I've already pre-cut this uh, section of half inch PEX that's going to drop down to the washing machine. Get one of the half inch crimp rings. Slide on. Push the pipe onto the teeth. lined up. And then use our vice grips. Go no go gauge. The go side turns smoothly all the way around, and the no side doesn't quite fit on, so it's not over crimped. Trim up this edge. I mentioned in one of our other videos, we have a faucet upstairs in the tub, and the valves uh, are leaking, and this is uh, the cold water that's coming back through the uh, empty hot water line. It's ordinarily not a problem if both the hot and cold water have pressure on them, but with only one connected, it rains on us. on. Crimp ring is in place. Put our crimp tool on. Make sure everything's lined up. Scripts. and finish crimping it. go gauge.
looks like we're all good.